Eli, congratulations. You're a fifth round pick of the Moncton Wildcats in the 2022 QMJHL entry draft. How do you feel? Uh, it feels great to be picked by a team from Atlanta, Canada. Just knowing that I'm not going too far from home and it, it, it'll be good to be kind of local. Did you get a sense that the Wildcats were a team that were very interested in you? Yeah, I talked to them uh, quite a bit, and I know uh, quite a few people that represent them. Uh, and so I did know that they were interested, but I'm glad that they ended up following through with it. So tell us a little bit about your season. You played uh, as an under-18 this year with the Weeks Majors. Tell me about your year. Uh, I had a bit of a rocky start, and then uh, I had a little ankle injury at the beginning of December. Uh, but I didn't didn't miss too much because that's when COVID started. And uh, I worked on that for uh, months on end every morning for two two or three months. I got one game, one good game in before the playoffs. And I just felt like I was back to my normal self for the playoffs and had a great couple games. So as a goaltender, describe yourself. What type of a goalie are you? Uh, I like to think of myself as a, a hybrid goalie. That, uh, that can play the puck well and can almost act as a third defenseman in a way. Uh, just my ability to hit people on the rush or communicate to my D so that they, they don't have to constantly check in and they can trust me. Uh, you alluded to this a little bit earlier, but I want to maybe get you to expand on it a little bit. Uh, how much do you know about the Wildcats and about the team that you're coming to? Uh... I know a little bit about how like education works uh, and like what the day would look like. Uh, I've, I've been to the rink a couple of times and I know a couple of the coaches and scouts, but other than that, not too, too much on the in-depths and details. So tell me about your summer plans. Uh, what are you going to do over the summer in terms of, of uh, workouts and, and things like that in order to get yourself ready for your first Q training camp? Uh, I have uh, one goalie coach, Jacob Fancy. I'm going to be going on with him lots. Love to work with him. He's a great, young, knowledgeable guy. Uh, and then I have Brian Gillis. I have quite a few programs from him as a trainer uh, just to work on speed and agility uh, to get myself ready for the, the next level. Uh, and as well, just keeping active, whether that's on my bike or golfing, and just making sure I'm using the time to get better. Well, congratulations. Welcome to the Wildcats. We'll see you in a few weeks at training camp. Thank you very much.